real go getters uh Castlevania Let's Play. This is a uh, kind of a first thing apart from the Slender vid I did a while back ago of just playing some games and I just wanna you know, I like playing games and I just thought I'd try this out. I uh, hope you guys like it. So we're gonna start off uh just to start off, most people uh would say that this game's pretty hard and I and I agree it is a very hard game, but I'm actually pretty good at this, so this will probably be a shorter uh series of videos than expected. Like I could probably get it hopefully in one continue. Let's See how many continues I take up, but oh shit, it ain't working. Let's. Oh, you need a fucking music, people. Hold on. <laughs> that was not even starting. God damn it! Come on. There we go. We are experiencing some technical difficulties. Like really bad technical difficulties. I'm not sure what's going on. It's really annoying. Maybe I should just restart this part. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, here we go. We're back, folks. And we're gonna be playing some Castlevania. Here we go. Boop -a -doop. Like, seriously, this is probably one of my, one of my favorite games. Uh, definitely for the NES. Uh, for sure. It is very challenging and difficult. The music's awesome. Um, I don't know. There's something about it that's really replayable. It's awesome. I was just playing it, if you can, and oh, shit, I don't expect that. But yeah, so this is the first level. I think there's like, God, I don't really remember how many levels there are. I think there's like five or six levels, and each of them get progressively harder and harder. And as I said before, I play this game like a million times, so I'm decently good at it. So we'll see. Up steps. It's like the weird thing, like ooh, sweet. Run it. Ah. Yeah, holy water is probably the best weapon or sub weapon in the game. Uh, this game is really interesting in the fact that I don't know. Everything seems kind of planned, I guess. Like everything seems like really thought out pretty well. Uh, like sub weapons are really important. As like I said, I got the holy water here, and then you got your main weapon, which is the whip. And a uh, strange thing about that is the fact that I don't know you'll be using everything to just survive. The, like you can't really just kind of go through it gung ho, or you will probably die. It's just kind of a hard game. It's just something you gotta kind of really strategize about and know. I, I don't want to say you have to go through it knowing where everything is. If you really want to get good at it, then yeah, you can totally memorize the game and totally be it that way. But I don't know if you want to play it and not if like if it's like your first time, you definitely see how everything how everything is really planned out like really well. And you kind of get used to game mechanics, and yeah, it's a good challenge. Yeah, I even know some of the little secrets here. Alright, <laughs> these are annoying. Alright, so let's skew up here. Anyway, so, what kind of other games would I be playing, I guess? Um, you know, I don't know. I'm definitely happy playing some NES games and old games, but I also like playing, um, I'm thinking about doing Killer 7, maybe? That's like another one of my favorite games. Just go goes through a bunch of them, and I got the Neo Geo, not the AES system, but the Neo Geo X, which is like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, the new console by SNK. They really, uh, like their 20th anniversary of the Neo Geo AES system. Really, really cool, I think. I know this thing, that system's been getting a lot of flag, but I, I've been really enjoying it. Like, I'm not, I guess I'm not picky, I guess. Like, it's got what I want. I knew exactly what I was gonna get. And I agree, it's not perfect, but I still find it really enjoyable. Get that part. There we go. <laughs> and that's, no, I won't say the Medusa has the hardest. But yeah, I, the Neo X is kind of like a handheld device that it even comes with a docking station that's modeled after the home console. And you just plug your portable in there. You can play on your TV like the like the original AES system. 
the good thing about that is that it's just really nice, really, if you think about it. The fact that you can, um, you know, when you're out and about, you can just go ahead and play your Neo Geo games there. And at home, you can go ahead and recharge it. And, you know, I'm not going to make this a whole review on the system. I mean, I think I might do a video on that later, maybe. But this basically, I think it's a pretty fun system. It has its faults, sure, like any other system does, but I don't think it deserves all the hate that it gets, like all the negative comments and such. And I think it's a little silly. Like people have been getting really rage and nerdy, and I guess I can understand, like, if you're a huge collector of Neo Geo and you have the Neo Geo AS, which is something I really want to get. But it's so. I still enjoy playing playing games on that thing. It's awesome. I love Neo Geo, and I want the Neo Geo AES, sure. But this is at least a good substitute, and definitely the fuck, at least a lot less expensive. I did not want to get the knife. <laughs> knife is like lame as a weapon in the game. There you go. I used it. But yeah, there are some emulation problems, because it does basically emulate the the Neo Geo games. There it is. Ugh, God, fuck me. I, I, got, I might go a little quiet just because I had to really concentrate on this game. Doing okay so far. I don't even know if I've been hit yet. I guess not. I'm also really forgetful. Hey, look, the pork chop ham. I never really remember what it's supposed to be in this game. It's so weird, this game. Uh, God damn, I keep taking everything. I can't really concentrate. I think I know there's some holy water. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna probably use the Neo Geo uh, X for some gameplay Let's Play videos. I mean, it has Metal Slug and Samurai Showdown 2, some other great games. Fuck! <laughs> definitely wanna play Metal Slug 2, and maybe I can get uh, Larry in here. Get a. Uh, he probably rage quit, honestly, because he doesn't. I don't. I think he likes the game, but he thinks it's too hard. And I, Metal Slug is a pretty difficult game. It's another one of those games I uh, grew up playing, so I'm like, I can play through it pretty well. Not like I'm an expert at it either, though. Oh god, sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. And the awesome thing about the hey, it's, uh the Neo Geo X, it has its controller, it's like it has like the actual joystick controllers that was used for the AES, which basically means it's like this huge joystick controller, it's like playing on the arcade almost. Fuck! I, uh, that was, that was a lead. <laughs> Swear, after, damn it! <laughs> oh, I don't really care. I'll make it through this level fine anyway. Eh, he's he, he's he, he's he killing. It's like creeping up behind me. Oh, God. <laughs> no one likes a Medusa heads. Have ain't no one. They're the bane of everyone's existence. It's a fact of life. Uh, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> it's right at all. Wait, I got it. I got it. Okay, there you go. Like playing like a really big idiot. Boop, boop, boop. God, I almost died there. I got really concentrated on playing this game. Otherwise, I screw up and I die. But yeah, those those joysticks on the uh, on the X and the AES are just awesome. I love using them. They're they're, like, they're almost as big as a console themselves. They're so big. If I remember, like the actual um. Joystick controllers were almost as big as the original AES system, and that was awesome. <laughs> Got those bastards take two hits. God, uh, I, hate these, I hate these things. I am not doing really good, am I? I'm almost well, this, this pork chopper chicken thing here. Something. Thank God. Okay. Uh, shit. Fucking asshole. Okay. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. <laughs> Just so you know, this show is explicit because, well, I swear. So, where was that? Uh, this level, 
This is like the, the most awkward part of the game where I'm like trying to fit those birds there. At some point those birds become easier, but for the beginning you're just like, I'm throwing these things. I'm like, eh, get, <laughs> please, please hit the birds, or the crows, whatever they are. Okay. I have to say, um, if anything else from Castlevania that I have to remember, or know, so the music's just amazing. It, I think the series has some of the best, like, just most awesome music in any series ever. Like, seriously, I can listen to Castlevania music all day. And probably one of my favorite songs is... Oh god damn it, what's the song? Uh, people know this song. You, you can probably figure it out. It's on um, Castlevania X or Rondo of Blood. It doesn't matter uh, either game. I think the original one has it at the very beginning, as, but it's definitely on uh, Castlevania X. That song is probably my favorite, well, at least one of my favorite songs in the Castlevania games. Uh, yeah, uh, nope, no, uh, fucking. <laughs> I think the mic's picking up all my mic <laughs> on my controller here. God, oh sweet. You can't kill me now. Can't kill me now because I'm invincible for a moment of time. Oh god, man, why are they so cold all of a sudden? Just random commentary. Okay, this part I'm okay with. Doop. Uh, uh, god. Yeah, just go through my whips. Thanks. Think I'll make it. Maybe. It's really the boss I'm worried about. I guess I think it's the mummies. I think I get hit. I can get hit once and I'll be okay. But yeah, this is. I'm really not doing that great. Fuck! I forgot about the Medusa heads. <laughs> Seriously, the Medusa heads can be like singing workout with the brain. And that coordination has to be like a f <laughs> no, fuck you, dagger. I'm just gonna walk over here. No, <laughs> shit. Luckily, there's that. And um, there you go. This is oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh shit. I think I got. It. I got. It. Okay, that was really. <laughs> That was so lucky. Look at that. I only had like one one peg left. <sighs> if I was really playing this a lot more seriously, I or I don't know, maybe when I was having a bad day, I would do it a lot better. I was really worried I was not gonna make that. So where are we where are we at? Oh this one. I hate this part. I think this is like the level I hate the most. Everything else is okay. I hate this level though. I don't say I hate any of the levels really. This is like out all the more frustrating ones. This is this is definitely one of them. This <laughs> I'm just gonna be making all the most weirdest sounds. <laughs> this is why. It, one thing, if you haven't noticed, um, when I get hit in this game, one thing that happens is you jump back. Like, if you get hit, you jump back, and that really sucks. Hardcore, when you're trying to stay on a raft or something like this, or if you're jumping around a raft or anything like that, it's... Ugh, don't, 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 oh god. Like, if you're on a raft and you get hit, you're gonna fall into the fucking water, and then, you know, like any game back in the day, if you fall in the water, you're dead. Whew. Okay. A little bit calmer. Do that part. This part's just stupid. <laughs> it could go. It, it could either be really easy or it could be difficult. The most difficult part. Or just at least the most annoying part. <laughs> no. It depends where the hunchbacks are landing and how many are put on the screen. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. Also, another really annoying part is the hunchbacks sometimes drop items like that, but they can drop weapons too. 
So you can walk it. Oh, thank God. Just like that, I could have walked into that, and it could have been like something really retarded. <laughs> something really that not good. Could have been like a dagger or something. And you know, and I don't think there's any more sub weapons apart from a dagger. So, especially for this one, if you pick up that dagger, it'll make this boss so much more difficult. And that's another reason why I hate this level. It's just because I it, I think I died once and it took me forever just to get through this one boss because I had nothing but a dagger. It's useless. I shouldn't have taken that in case I took damage. And of course they make, give you like the best boss ever. Well, not the best boss, but the most like evil boss. Is Frankenstein is coming up. But he has a hunchback. And in, those hunchbacks are fucking assholes. I hate them so 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 much. <laughs> okay. Mm. I remember I can't talk too much. Yeah, <laughs> die, die, go to hell. Hate you and your family. I don't even think I'm hitting them technically with my whip, but I'm getting them with my other one. Thank God. You no, know, I don't even know how much I'm. I'm not timing this or anything. I'm not sure if I should make this one video or a bunch of videos. Uh, I don't know. Uh. Oh well. I guess I'll split it up at some point. 